The State Department spends a staggering $40 billion per year operating embassies, missions, and related programs worldwide. The bulk of the $40 billion is paid directly to private contractors for security, upkeep, surveillance. But much of the budget is bloated, including the $5 billion spent running the palatial embassy in Baghdad just for one year. But a bloated budget is just the beginning of the State Department's spending problem. According to an Inspector General's report, a staggering $6 billion in State Department funds is missing and or cannot be accounted for. For the embassy in Iraq alone, a staggering $2 billion is missing. Keep in mind that the cost to build the palatial embassy, that includes an Olympic-sized swimming pool, football field, and basketball court, was a staggering $1 billion. Obama, of course, is not holding Hillary Clinton responsible for the missing $6 billion, despite the fact that most of it was lost under her watch as Secretary of State. In one case, according to the IG report, a payment was made in the amount of $50 million to a contractor's spouse supposedly for services rendered, but little if any paperwork can be found substantiating the payment. Of course, the question is, where exactly did the $6 billion go? Was the whole sideshow of blaming the anti-Muslim video producer Nukula Basili Nukula for the murder of Chris Stevens, Ty Woods, Glenn Doherty, and Sean Smith just a distraction to cover up billions of dollars in missing taxpayer money? Was Hillary Clinton, while she was covering up the fact that al-Qaeda attacked our embassy in Benghazi, running a media campaign to obfuscate her connection to the missing money? A media campaign that was modeled on her distraction campaign when her husband, Slick Willie, was caught putting cigars in the help? Or worse, did Hillary Clinton in fact embezzle some of this money herself? Hillary Clinton has a long history of bilking American taxpayers out of millions of dollars. While Bill Clinton was governor of Arkansas, he flooded her Rose Law Firm with millions of dollars in bogus fees for drawing up the legal papers dispersing Arkansas Finance Development Agency funds. Hillary Clinton, now known as the Benghazi Butcher for giving the stand-down order in Benghazi, according to the OPSEC report, breach of duty. Hillary Clinton and catastrophic failure in Benghazi, is now also embroiled in a massive political corruption investigation involving the financing of her 2008 presidential bid. According to court documents, businessman and Clinton mega-donor Jeffrey Thompson funneled a half million dollars into Clinton's 2008 presidential campaign, all off the books. The revelation came to light when Jeffrey Thompson was indicted for running a shadow campaign for Clinton crony D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray. Hillary Clinton claims she knew nothing about the shadow campaign, despite the fact that it was arranged by longtime Clinton crony and DNC head Minion Moore. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Jeffrey Thompson secretly funded dozens of political candidates, according to court documents, and may have secretly funded Barack Obama's 2012 campaign as well. Will Attorney General Eric Holder investigate Hillary Clinton's shadow campaign and the possible shadow campaign of Barack Hussein Obama? Hardly. Eric Holder subscribes to the Hillary Clinton credo of what difference does it make? The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it I because understand. of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? 